everybody, this is Dream, and today we have the uh, Bass Pro Shop night race for NASCAR. This is the Cup Series race. It's the next playoff race in the in the uh, playoffs, and we have a lot of good drivers in this particular race. Uh, we've broken them down, and I've got the guys that I think you need to uh, you know target. Uh, the other thing I'll say is that um, I will be putting posting the breakdown of this race on to Patreon. So if you want to see the full breakdown that I've written up. Then you'll have to join there. It's basically just a couple sentences, one or two sentences about each driver uh, and what I think about their uh, potential in this particular race. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the drivers I do like. I also want to say thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. It's free and you can uh, hit that little button down below. And also check the uh, description for Patreon and for Discord. So the first driver that I like in this particular race is Denny Hamlin. He's been really solid at this track in the past. He's won this race many times, uh, and he always seems to get in the top 10 or top 15. And he's, so he's got a really plus match, you know, plus situation for him at this track. He's pretty consistent. Uh, his starting position is fourth, which, you know, that doesn't really scare me with him because he's just been good at this track in general. And so I think he's a good option as a top tier driver to choose from. Uh, there's two other top tier guys that I think are really good to look at. One of them is Chase Elliott, and he solely is because his starting position is so bad at 23rd. Uh, he's almost guaranteed to move up a little bit, but he has had trouble at this track in the past. He's got several sub-20 sub, sub 20 finishes, and uh, even though his starting position gives him some bonus, uh, he's still a little bit not ideal just because he hasn't been particularly great at this track in the past. He's never won this race either. Uh, I do think he's still somebody you have to consider simply because of his starting position, though. Uh, Kyle Busch is in the opposite position, is almost in the same position as Chase Elliott, but has the opposite metrics, where he's won this race a ton of times, and his starting position makes him almost a must-start. Uh, he's usually really good here. He usually has opportunity to lead laps here, and, you know, anytime that he's at a track he really likes, he's somebody I like to roster, and the fact he's starting 21st is even better. Because he's got a nice, he's gonna have a nice amount of bonus points for moving up. Um, the next guy that I like is Ryan Blaney, uh, and he's starting six. He has a top ten car. He finishes inside the top ten quite a few times here, and uh, but he is a little bit capped because of his starting position. So just be aware of that. And uh, I think he's in a pretty good spot though overall. And so I think he's somebody you have to consider at this particular track. Uh, Kevin Harvick is another guy I think you have to consider here. Now, he's been a little bit boomer bust uh, at the track, but uh, um, if you look at the races specifically, the dart races he has not done well here, in, but this is not a dart race. This is a night race, and he's had a lot of top 10s uh, here and top 15s, and he's got some potential starting in 7th. He should be able to keep in the top 10 for most of the race, assuming his car doesn't blow up like it has the last couple of races. That is the one thing to worry about with him. Uh, it seems like that the uh, new cars and him have not been in agreement in the last couple of races in general. So, uh, but I still think he's uh, somebody that's useful and has a you know has some good odds to get a top five. Um, then we look at uh, Daniel uh, Suarez uh, for the starting in 29th spot uh, for Trackhouse. Um, his starting position here gives him a, some nice point upside. Um, and he, he can get in the top 15. Uh, he hasn't always done that well at this track, but he's done decent. And uh, he actually has, uh, a, you know, a good enough car to do well here. It's just a matter of, you know, getting a, getting on a roll and not, you know, not wrecking, which he doesn't wreck here very much. Uh, then we look at Eric Jones. Um, I like, uh, he's in a very similar state to Suarez, starting in the, you know, around 25 to 30th position. He's in 24th. Um, and he has upside here uh, because he has top 10 potential, but he has been inconsistent here in the past, so you do have to be aware of that. Uh, the next guy that I like is Brad Keselowski. Uh, he's actually always been pretty good here at this track, and he's pretty inexpensive. Uh, the only real downside here is he's starting 10th, which gives him a little bit of a uh, cap, but I still think he's in a good spot. And in, uh, in, 11, in, the, top, in the last seven races that he's been here, uh, five of them, he's gotten the top 11. Uh, looking at Michael McDowell next, um, he's in a position where he usually gets in the top 15 here. He's been really good the last five races, except for one where he 
gotten a wreck. But overall, he's usually a pretty good driver at this particular track. And so his fin his starting position definitely gives him some upside. And then uh, the last guy that I really like is Ty Dillon. And simply because he's starting in 34th, which is near the back. There's, I think there's 36 cars in the race. Um, the, the bonus here with him is that his starting position gives him some upside because he's finished here in the top 20 a couple times. And he has 40 point upside as a result of his starting position. The petty cars uh, do seem like they have pretty good stuff at this particular track. Now, there's two other drivers I'm going to mention, and these are completely kind of like Hail Mary options if you're just desperate to save money, uh, because they do have tendency to have decent finishes here, uh, but they don't have a ton of upside. You're looking at 25 to 30 point upside probably on these two drivers, uh, one of them being Harrison Burton um, for the Wood Brothers 21. Uh, he's gotten 20th here in his one cup race, and he can probably do that again. And he's starting 27th, so that gives him about 30 point upside. Uh, Todd Gilliland is kind of in the same boat. Um, he starting 30th. He can also get to 20th about, but in that caps him around the 30 to 32, excuse me, 32 point upside. With that said, I think it's going to be a good race. I think we got a lot of good drivers available, got a lot of good options here. Should be able to fill out a nice lineup one way or the other. And uh, yeah, so if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.